Hello. Hello. Hi and welcome. This is Zeke the Fox's Variety Channel. We're continuing Mass Effect. It's Mass Effect 2 now. Ah, bah, bah. So, I mean, nothing really to do except do a new game, right? We're going to import the one from last game. Jennifer Shippard, the lady. I like voice actor better. Jennifer Hale, I think, was the name. So I'm like, Jennifer. Huzzah. So combat, I don't want normal. And I don't want hardcore. Subtitles on. I don't want you to use the powers automatically. And... I probably want autosave to stay on. Okay. Name is Jenny. Level 45. Vanguard. We follow the Paragon path. Rex didn't get shot by Ashley. Ashley was killed on Vermeer. The council was saved by Commander Shepard during the attack on the Citadel. And we gave the Captain Anderson the keys to the kingdom, so to speak, by getting him the first human counselor. Cool, cool. Away we are, away we go. There's the music. I don't think you should walk through holograms. One month after a devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, the galactic community struggles to rebuild. The Alliance fleet made a tremendous sacrifice to save the Citadel Council and earned humanity membership in the prestigious group. Now the Council is forced to respond to evidence of the Reapers' enormous machines to eradicate all organic civilization every 50,000 years of return. Oh no! No one could possibly read all that in one go. Except for that e ba 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 da bo guy. Scatman. Baby doo ba 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 da bo. That guy. Its signature is Bois.
Wow, Presley's on fire. Oh, they better. Oh. Gosh, that'd, be, that'd suck, right? Be so close to the escape pod and you just, like, fly across the... the room. Pretty nutso. Ah, uh, I have plot armor. I can't die. I don't think she's holding together, Joker. Ooh, can I bat these around? Boof. I'm all powerful. I'm Lord of Chairs. Boof. Yes. I didn't realize that this sequence really wouldn't continue unless I walked it forward in there. Hang on. Just gonna push this a little more. Come back. Boof. Oh, terminal velocity. Oh, and there it goes through reality itself. Ah, what a majestic journey. I wish I could run into these so that they fly away more. I I can't reach them anymore. Okay, time to go. Like, you're in a space helmet, dude. Zorb. Wait a second. It's also space. That wouldn't... 
Oh, it does kind of get quiet. Yeah, space though. No sound to travel on. Now you become space meteor. Whee! It's fine. People fall from orbit every day and they're fine. Would you like to review the story so far? Yeah. Oh, it's the comic. Thank you for the pets. Wow, 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 wow. It's recapping the story. Thanks for the lurk, Ice. Totally. was the octopus skulls again. Wait, no sound? For which? Again? Yeah, it's being narrated, that's why I was quiet. Prove that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime. How about now? The immense war Did that work? It was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from Dark There you space. go. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. 
these okay. Were blamed now how about me? All like 50, well, years ago. well, wait. This Including is talking now. <laughs> and disappearing back this is recapping. To dark space, leaving no trace that they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon. Also, I'm good? Great. Sense out of my Great. Visions, but not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat. But they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human what? Spectre. My first task? Hurt for you. Down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I'd need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Venezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species, Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Caden was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I decided discretion was the better part of valor, and kept my focus on our goal, finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead, Venezia. Saren had taken her to know I mean, that's what it was based off of, right? Like, I think they were going to do a Star Trek game, and then they pulled out. So they had to make their own IP. Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. Queen's drones were everywhere, and they were not happy. I think that's how this worked. Hundreds of them to get to Venezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone with the information. I tried to reason with Venezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He'd somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Venezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. Yeah, I chose to not trust the bug. Mission to do, and an army of angry Rachni would be one more Melts problem the bug. I didn't have time to deal with. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. The Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's breeding. will. Tolkien set a standard for fantasy with uh, Lord of the Rings, Star Trek Rex set a standard for sci-fi. Yeah. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me. Holy like, recap. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split my team into two squads, sending. I know, I do too. We gotta go for him first. We had a nuke and we planned. So when Miranda's like, we gotta get, we gotta get Morden, I'll be like, no, screw you, Miranda. We gotta get Garrus. Told him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign, the Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was like still in control. Said he'd found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence. But he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop. It's a scaly, went, broody boy. Leaving me just I know you want, Garrus. I tried. But it 
I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend, and a great soldier. But I had to choose, and I chose Caden. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, Garrus. one of us would die. Here he is. With my team That's mostly intact, art. we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. I'd never tell anyone, but I had my doubts. Leaving Ashley behind had hardened my resolve, but revealed a weakness in my defenses. How many more friends and allies would I be willing to sacrifice in order to stop Saren? We arrived on Ilos close by. At least 12 more. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died like every species before them, but a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space. Slowing the Reapers' return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers, once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space. Bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. It caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope that the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Council fleets battled Saren's army outside the Citadel, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet. The battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left to me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, a lifetime politician, ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be placed before him. Yeah, Udina Another already choice. dicked us over Captain once, Anderson, so not him. Tough but fair. But a friend and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned cleanup duty. Routing out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Oh yeah, she fell from orbit. But 
recap of life story while in the helm. So she is Cortana. Who's Cortana? Okay, and now that we're done the exposition drop. We'll accept the imported face from the last game, unless we want to change it. Oh yeah, but like... She didn't do too well with catching fire. Don't actually... Doesn't actually work in this universe that way. Vanguard is what I was at the first game. I'm not sure how much that actually helps. Ballotic charge, pull, and shockwave. Uh, singularity, wall, pull, throw. I want adapt. And, uh... I guess I'd want something that's not biotic related then. Mm. What is neural shock classified as? Yeah. Let's go just doing fire grenades. She's waking up. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Wilson! Don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Wilson! Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. All she can think of is castaway. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. Cool. I feel much safer now. Wake up, Commander. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. There's a pistol in the locker on the other side of the room. Hurry! Oh, hurry! Yes, yes. Oh my god. Oh my god, shut up, Miranda. Jesus. Now I have cool powers. Me. 
you need to up the difficulty again. Wahoo. You know, it was fine where it is. Never mind. And also, I didn't do the squad part yet. What do we got? Biotic Mastery. Hello. Rolling Ferret. Woohoo. We got the powers that I like to use and combine, and they work. Ah. Oh, having powers work. They just don't do anything in the first game. They don't even look that great. They're just blue flashes. Now they actually do stuff things different from each other. We Then I'll use warp to explode it. No. All of you stayed over there. Shit. I want singularity. Excuse you. Oh god. They explode. These controls are so much better! Oh, I can't believe how much better this feels than Mass Effect 1. Yes. Yes, tutorial lady, I shall. Data logs? That progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Ooh, safe. One thousand seven hundred and twenty-five dollars. I can grab. Nope. Okay. Hey, Ray. Welcome in. How you doing? And thank you for the care package. I'll take a sip of something. Thought you were still a work in progress. Wah. Sit up. Stretch. Ah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, how was I? Good, we're just finally getting to some gameplay and we're using biotic powers. Black hole energy. Science fiction nonsense. It's great. Look, pal. I don't know where I am or how I got here. Plus, my head feels like an overripe melon ready to split open. How about you fill me in a little? Damn. 
Yeah, I forgot this is all new to you. Sorry about that. I'm nah. Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! That is my first first one. That is the character I ported over. Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. I did. I played the first game. <laughs> uh, last week. How about shut up, bitch, Jacob? Ever since I woke up, someone's been telling me where to go and what to do. I need answers. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting oh. you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. That's a <laughs> Just have a heart to heart while there's gunfire in <laughs> back. These guys can't shoot anything when I'm even behind this barrier all the way. Just see the firefight behind them. Let me just get to keep asking him questions while we're behind this wall. <laughs> what about my crew? Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. You think you're special? I can do this too. Hey, not in this one. Any of your 12 crewmates can die in this game. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Um, how about who the hell are you? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. Oh, you've never... Okay. You're trained well, then. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Okay, what's the deal with the you station, know about then? This attack. Who's behind it, what they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check! Check! Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson! This is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. 
Who that? I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Ba 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 we got some logs on the spench. Wilson. I could watch this instead of helping you. But we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who she was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter her identity in any way, if she's somehow not the woman she used to be, the Lazarus Project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. Okay, so Miss Perfectionist made me perfectly the same. Sorry, are you injured? Do you need help? Do you do you need help? I know you asked for it already, but how long before you start yelling at me? Never? Okay. Bastards got me in the leg. Hey, I know you. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah. That was me. We talk about this after we fix my leg. Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Is it this one? Damn. <laughs> Select unity. Oh, right. Revive teammates. Button. Okay. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mix, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. If Miranda's dead, there's nothing we can do. We have to save our own asses right now. The shuttle bay is only a few. We can overload the canister to clear a path to the shuttles. Then do it. That's it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Uh... I wiped out my share of Cerberus projects when I was a Spectre. Back then, they were trying to kill me. Why the change of heart? Those answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too, but right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. 
Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more... More than happy to tell you what I want to know. Got it, got it. What was that over there? But I I tried to view a data pad and it didn't give me anything, so I don't know what the deal was with that. Getting, there should be money in those. Uh, this. Catching up. There it is. Cool. Overlon, hellos. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Got those max. I think there's more. Oh, we've been cutscene. We're almost at the. Miranda, but you were... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Um... Well, now you can't question him. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Why not? Uh... There's a bad about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. 
You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Right on. To the stars! Why can that little buggy do a warp jump? Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? Been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a colony kid. Lost your parents when the slavers hit Mindwar. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. Did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are gonna die. That can't affect your decisions. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Yep, yep. You better hope so. He's the elusive man. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. I would, though. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Alright, fine. Fine. Let me VR. Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why'd you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? 
We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Experience gained. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. Are you naturally this bitchy or is it just me? I have the utmost respect <laughs> for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. <laughs> I like totally um that side of that conversation is all provoking. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. As in too young. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? It's I obvious you're not interested. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. Corsair? I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. 
There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. Nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. Shepard escaped attack on the facility along with operators Taylor and Lawson. Facility destroyed by remote detonation. Salvage teams will ensure no incriminating data survived. Per Amanda's recommendation, I'm running security sweeps on the other cells to ensure that Wilson was our only mole. Regardless of the cost, Project Lazarus was a success. Shepard is back. Import bonuses. For importing a level 45 character, you get this stuff. Lots of stuff. And for having beaten Bass Effect 2 before. And money, and we're done. Huzzah! Hello. Wait, did someone redeem that? Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. I forgot that one. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Do I have any orders? Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the death. face. I guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. It's the left face! There it was. There it is. There it goes. Thank you for redeeming Blep. A blep. <laughs> Pause success. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. All right, well. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Oh, they got cool lanterns, though. Look at those. Oh, look at them prettiness. Look at those round orange things there. Look at that. Oh, so majestic. Antenna forest. That's just what you want to live in. Don't you like it? Don't you want a summer home, Miranda? Oh, what? You're not interested? Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. It's a mission with enemies. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. At least for now. Taking cover. Heading to cover. Spare parts. Thousand dollars, yay, money to spend. Is there anything else over there? No, no. Uh, back here, is there anything I can pick up? Anything I can pick up? Anything at all? Nope, it is fine.
Yeah, Lorzar, hello, welcome. Take that one out, guys. Take that one out. Take that one out. Take that one out. Oh, God. Stop it. Singularity. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, no. Shit. I'm stuck. Oh, no. Okay. Right then. They just kind of ran up on me. Fair package? Thank you. I will sit up straight. Again. I'll sip. Wah. And stretch. Ah. Mm hmm. Thank you. Wah. Glad to have you all here. Okay, you warp. I'll fireball. You bet. And you use warp. Yep, you use pull. I'll use warp. Boom. Okay, uh, use overload and pull. Fire there, fire on it, fire on it, fire on it, fire on it. Oh my god. Good. Wish you got him sooner, damn. from the safe. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, the new mini games. Yeah. Barely games. Just really some time wasters. rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in the crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. 
Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza, you're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Yay, we see Tally. Tally's awesome. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. On our left! Some jewels. My shields are down. Whoa. Oh, I backed out so I don't get the... Wow, if you fail it once, you don't get the rewards from those minigames either. Use overload armor. Bang. Whoop. Ah, shit. I got rocket launched. I mean, rocket launched. Easy enough. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on. We can still catch them. one I'll do and then you'll do pull and everybody go at once. Mean to climb that. Whoopsie. I'm on it. Enemy down. Oh my. to veto first get your squad into cover and i'll open the loading bay doors we'll take cover by the doors shepherd you take point going to cover sure thing Oh, they got there first. Bye, Praza. Bye, Praza. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Only if you don't do your job, Miranda. And your job is to listen to me. Oh, 
No, don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Engaging target. Moving to target. Moving to target. Get out of the way, Miranda. My God, Miranda. No, I stood back up. Fudge. Fuggle bugga 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 bugga. I was doing so well too. I usually die on this mission a little earlier. <laughs> Less carefully planned. We'll do better next time. Oh, ah. Headshots and flicks appear your damage because, of course, it does. Die again. I just died. Got it. Right behind you. Search the area for stuff. Hey, Tally. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Wow. He was strong. med kit just get as many things as possible I think that's all monsters coming back Mex will protect safe from swarms have to hide no more. Wow, 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 wow. no 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 enjoy no. the pets whoa Vitor 
No V Tower. It's not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Human. Why did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Oh, I didn't realize that was a problem. Looks like security Why'd you fix footage. it, though? He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of them, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them, the monsters, the swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings, electromagnetic, dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Fraza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take me to his Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We can work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Wah, 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 wah. Ominous. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. 
But more importantly, you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? The Collectors are definitely a human enemy. But how do we know there's a connection to the Reapers? Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed Sovereign. The abductions are related, even if the Alliance and the Council refuse to believe it. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army, or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Liara Tissani? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker swarms. Sounds good. And what else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. It's so shiny. 
and new and pretty. It's Normandy Mark II. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. And done with work. Well, hello and welcome back from work. Oh my god, Normander. Huzzah. Yatta. They really went for movie production for a while in this game, didn't they? <laughs> Level up. Flux is confirmed on Freedom's progress. Heavy weapon, Iridium. Hey, Overloan, I see you there. Hype. Hype. Let me shoot things with space powers. There's so much story. I love it, but there's so much. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Let me just, let me just be a bitch to Miranda for no reason. <laughs> you still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Shut that thing down. I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Your distrust is logical, Shepard. Unlike the irrational mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Uh, an hour and 40 minutes later, we have access to a ship. Armory, elevator, captain's quarters, tech lab. And our secretary, Yeoman Chambers. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. No. <laughs> Why? Why? Why would you do that, though? Why would you just say no when someone tells you to call them something? Call them the name. Let's keep this professional, Yeoman. Yes, ma'am. Anything else, Commander? Oh. Well, all right then. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Ooh, here's our team. 
Got a long way to trek. I can give her actual armor because she has her tits out. Now they're not. They're very armored. Bit sparse of a team, yeah. Where is she? Where is she even at? Like where? The, oh, she's down a floor. I, I forgot. Where's the elevator? Looking a bit sparse. For sure, but to have a whole 12 team members, hmm. Hey, Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? What do you do here? What exactly are your duties aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Nah, she looks better in her regular skin tight outfit. Again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Commander Ship. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Do you have everything you need? If you happen to find any of those supplies on the list, I, I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Okay. Dr. Chakwas. Hey, it's the doctor. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing were my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position. But it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Okay. Um, who else can we talk to on the ship? Oh wait, yeah, there is someone else we can talk to. An engineering. collectibles down here. I must be thinking of a wrong time. Oops. 
this way. Engineering. You too, hello. You came all the way down here to see us? Yes. You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators on the primary power transfer system that Kenneth, channels... Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Carry on. Will do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. And let's also change our captain's outfit, because I don't like this standard crewmate outfit I got on right now. What could I put, be put in instead? Oh, hell yeah, hoodie. Absolutely. Yay, hoodie shepherd. I actually want one of these sweaters, they're pretty awesome. And Miranda, you can be back to your regular self. Wait, what? Uh, unread messages. Oh, Counselor Anderson. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need to come talk with you on the Citadel. I, a lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council, and it's only fair that you'd be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. And the loose man. Shepard, we've reached an agreement with veteran mercenary Zaid Masani. You may know the name Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and utterly unknown missionary uh, military operations in the Terminus systems, and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You will find him on Omega, where he's been wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee, I've taken care of that personally. Project Firewalker. Commander, the MSV Rosalie, a survey ship of the Cerberus Connections, has gone missing. The survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planner Side Exploration Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Manuel Case and Robert Alloy are aboard the MS3 Rosalie and conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship, his sur her survey team, and the doctors. Well, we got a coordinate for that. Admiral Hackett from Alliance Military. Our scans in the Amata system show that you've turned up something thought you should see, the final location and wreckage of SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the Normandy's fine and western place. We'd like to invite you to, to place the monument and be the first to walk on site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask you to report to the Alliance so that the heroes' families might find some closure. Godspeed to you, Commander. Uh... Recon hood, that's just some armor. From the elusive man, Overlord. Shepard, one of our cells just went off grid without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology, and I need you to investigate. The work is extremely compartmentalized, enough that I can't divulge operational details over this channel. You'll find them on the planet Aite Typhon system in the Phoenix Massing Cluster. Please use care in this matter. We had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the Skillian Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against Geth's scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device and we finally let them take out of the lab. 
Since the unit is being reassigned from some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called an arc projector. I sent it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicated overloads connective barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field reports. We know it works, we want to see what it can do in the right hands. If all goes well, we will use your tactics to train other operatives. Rendezvous with Kasumi Goto. Shepard, at the great cost and effort, we've tracked down the master thief, Kasumi Goto, and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her, and fewer claim to have seen her in person. She is unequaled in stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable to your mission. Travel to Sakura Ward on the Citadel, where you'll find a special terminal that differs from the usual. Import the password, silence is golden, to be begin the rendezvous. Thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After deducting modest administration fees for closing the file, the subsequent change in status and reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of 56,423 credits. Thank you for banking with Ascension Financial Services. We look forward to working with you. Wow. Okay. Now we've met our mail. Yay, mail. Okay, that's everything we can do. Now we get to actually go on missions. Mission time. Mission time. Mission time. At least one of the missions. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. Right. Forgot about that one. Adaptive interface. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Uh, well. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. Uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite, you have no choice, choice ever. Technically, this is a civilian ship. Probably lucky you're still wearing pants. Yeah, I'll save that for the off hour cameras. Have an AI watch me 24 7. Wow. Right, the fuel depot. That's the thing. Well, first of all, I want to go to the Citadel. So I want to go pick up Kasumi because I like her. And the sooner I can get Miranda and Jacob off my back, the better. Oh, there's a mass relay. Right. I forgot. I forgot how the map works in this. It's a little different. There we go. Citadel. Hub of the Galactic Community.
Kasumi. You got the right to ruin me, Kasumi. Wow, 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 wow. Ugh, you and you, I guess. Build you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, Humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer. Generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Back to the Normandy. <laughs> Who's had a good meal lately? And what did you have? I could go for a cream cheese bagel. That'd be nice.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I had fell last night because I got late and I didn't feel like cooking. Yeah, it's the one you... It's good. Uh, it's, uh... Well, well, ram... Ramen. Ramen is great. Like... Anything noodle. I like anything noodle. You never have proper good ramen? I gotta look up different ways to prepare it. The outlaw satellite. Cooked ramen recipes. It's always an egg. It's always egg involved. For good ramen, it seems. There's a little egg in there. Eggy, eggy. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Wah! Please. Thank Final you! Husky cheered. <laughs> X100. Thank you. Oh, you Whoa. That's a lot. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks so much, Chinook. For the hundred biddies. Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I hear we have a galaxy to save. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, oh. got it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always want. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. 
This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. It seems he recently captured an Elfel Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Good, because I want to take you with us, Said. Oh, 69! You did the sex Only number thing. Underscore two underscore eight underscore nice. dog cheer. X69. Oh, whoa. I want the model ship. Pack module, black storm, chest plate, visor. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. I have you things to do. Courteously. Have a fine day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the fox noises. Wah, 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 wah. Thank you for the happy fox noises. Wah, wah, wah. Um, we want alien porn. Five dollars. This is valuable. Worked out nicely, this last year bits. Nice. Bar -ar -ar -ar. Just grab these things. I don't think I've ever used that helmet. The attack on the human colony of freedom's progress has I might have something here for you. Not much. Why don't you uh convince me? These prices are insulting! You might snare a few tourists with these prices. But I'm not giving you a single credit. Sure, you can find things cheaper if you're willing to risk black market. Well, you and I could do business if you'd just charge what this crap is worth. Fine. I'll give you the up in a human biscuit. And that's all you're getting. Discounts. The thing I already bought from. Could have done that in reverse order, I guess. Too much. Gabon's fox get no more. We leave. 
talking to you. No more talk. We know Gabon's tricks. We leave. Okay, leave all you like. I like the CDO towns. They're prettier. They value their light. They don't have god awful neon everywhere, like Filium or the Citadel. Just the light of people living, moving from place to place. Just enough to know people live there. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me out this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person. But you can't breathe a word if it's a Harrod. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see. Uh, salvage stuff. There's the couplings. Skin weave. I'll take it. Geth gun. Spy it all. And then be Welcome good to back. this dude and get him off the station too. A nice kid like pilgrimage. You can see how that turned out. Howard's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. How about I do it? How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Or I could just do there that. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. Just wants to go back to the migrant fleet. Many upgrade panels getting things at once. More commonly known as the consort, has declined to name the next race likely to gain council membership. However, she suggested an announcement could come soon. Right, okay, gotta go into the nightclub. That's where Arya is, and she's the boss, and knows where our. our team members are. Bartender? Where's the bartender? Enough. Stand 
still. Like hell. Try it and you'll be scanning the inside of your colon. I'd almost pay to see that, but it's not an option. You want to talk, you get scanned. All you had to do was ask. I don't ask. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one move. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after, Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic, but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morden Solas. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. like everyone else. Who's next? Well, aren't you sweet? You're in the wrong place, honey. Stripper's quarters are that way. Show me yours, tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. So, you're here to fight them? Sure. If this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns, Eclipse, or the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Sign in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? 
a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Oh, no, I wanted to go downstairs. There's a downstairs to this place. See if I can find anything else before we take off from here. Yeah, drink. Commander Shepard, she uncovered Saren's plan, defeated the Gith army, and died. Look it up, Commander. A little poison never hurt anyone. What's going on here? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk, and an hour later, he was puking blood. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you, that's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. Where's the door? Door to the place is right here. I think. Kill them. Just agreed to poison himself in front of me. Cool. All right. Spin the camera around one more. We'll get measure. Archangel, Archangel, we will save you. Save you from the Merc bands after you. Hello. I'm 
on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Righteous, righteous. Mercenary bosses and other powerful enemies have multiple defenses that you must strip away in order to kill them. I'm a biotic, so I don't need these two biotic dudes. So, tech expert, military expert. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? No, really, no. The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. I'll get to him. Just point me at that bridge. I like your attitude, but we've got a plan in place. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's goddamn suicide. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Cap. Good idea. Getting in will be easy. Getting out should be fun. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Merc. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. What, 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 okay, there's nothing over there. Sorry for the spinning. Just do it sometimes. Not on purpose. I'm just trying to check everywhere. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I don't expect much from the freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. Light mechs go in first. If that's not enough, we send in the heavy. Pete, do you need something? You leave the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack. Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you Freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around. You'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea. Smuggling accounts of Ezo. Ship fuel. Oh, uh, we'll just need a match. Here's one. Bypass friend or pro ID. Yes, please. Wah. 
That should slow them down. Nice. Anyone who activates that thing will get blown the hell up. Friend or foe. Freelancer. You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Gorm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When do the Blood Pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. I should get going. About time. What? What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, until he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life. But I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men, and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. You fought him? He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was... He said that already. So he said that, he Almost said that. Okay. I should get going. Protection money accounts. Some fraudulent things from some dude who was shot. It's a good place to dip into some resource money. Six thousand. Yes. Anything back here? Nope. I pass. Look in this room too. Little tab thing. Tops. And ocular whatevers. This looks interesting. Your son's gun running accounts. What do you want, freelancer? I don't want your sass. Zaid. We worked together once. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? You're talking to him. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid. I gotta deal with this shit. Jinta, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you've solved my problem for me. Anything's possible. Good thing you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? 
What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know what to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Suns so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, lady. He's over there, working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. Why haven't you talked to him? Because I'm not stupid. This assault is damn dangerous. Watch out! Kafka? Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. A few more tweaks. She'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. You freelancers get the privilege of... Target is in sight. Where a go? Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Angel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. Yeah, that should stay a more broken. It doesn't look good for Archangel. We've got nothing better to do. Let's go. Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Get ready. What's this? 
Tech damage. Someone up here? Oh, he is. Archangel. Spaceman. <laughs> Shepard. I thought you were dead. It's a boy, Garrus. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Uh, you shot at me, by the way. You nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Concussive rounds only. No harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. Just waiting doesn't seem like a good option. Got any other suggestions? This place has held them off so far. And the three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, and take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive. And I'll tell you the whole damn thing. I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little murk blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You? You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything. Singularity.
you use this, I'll use this. Change weapon, trying something Ah, there they are. You'll do that, you'll blast him, and I'll throw some fire. should take care of itself. does start to go on after us after a while, so it's good to whittle down the health of the mech, too. Really? Where'd she go? Dude. Yeah, 
Ja. Back here, med kit. Lurking, thank you for lurking. Shepard, I need you up here. Oh, okay. Okay, gear bear. Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Ezo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got blood pack and blue suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They reinforce the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Yeah, that sounded bad. Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Yes, I know there's a console near the shutters, Garrus. Shut up. It happens to be where we have Krogan down here. And Vorcha. And Baron.
feel. Okay. The third one. I'm going to need some help soon. They're getting more aggressive. What? I didn't want to climb over that shit. Why are you jumping in front of my line of sight, Saeed? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Oh god. That's not gonna work. She's just totally gonna die. Ah! Oh, okay. It's good, it's good. It's all good. Everything's good. Explode. Mega Exploder.
Shutter sealed. Oh, cool. Get back here, Shepard. Coming in through the door. Ah, rip them to shreds. Oh. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Bam! Boom! And fly, bitch! Until his fortune showed up, it was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the blue suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. And... Watch it! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. I fixed it, but not completely. I watched my back though. Shit. Why did I even die? I don't think that was good cover. Not sure why I die, but I go burr. I fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. Thank you. 
Magenta. She was nice though. At least in comparison. Yeah, because I can't get off this couch. Got it. Garrus, wake up, buddy. Wake up, Garrus. Ooh. He's bleeding a lot, actually. We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not going to make it. Extracted Archangel from Mercenary Siege and recruited him for the team. Unclear whether injury to Archangel will repair his ability to assist in the mission. Regardless, revelation of identity as Garrus Vicarian useful in keeping Shepard comfortable. Indicate a battery rifle, multicore amplifier, credit, settlement zero, and a level up. Right to. for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> to 
tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Uh, no worse than usual. Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are partly... Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. I'm walking into hell. I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Yay, we got Garrus. I don't want to talk to you, Jacob, but I did walk in here. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. I mean, bringing you wasn't my choice. You're here because you're Cerberus. Don't expect special treatment. Understood. But not everyone in the group is hardline. I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction. Doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. You watch me, I'll watch you. That suit you? I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. We'll talk later. Commander. Commander, can I help you with something? What do you think of the state of the crew? We don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? We'll talk later. Commander. Okie dokie. you received a new message at your private terminal. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, not just physically. True. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Glad I didn't sign up. It's the kid I saved at Omega, at Omega Bar and broke his gun. Man, I was so pissed at you, I got blind drunk that night. In the last few days, I checked the news and see that all those mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. Yep. We did it. Service Grant. Operated in Omega. We do a situation on Loric, a nearby planet in the Farthar system. I believe Eclipse mercs are holding one of our operatives. Side mission. Let's give you not explodey armor. Have some neon armor, Garrus. We'll go take to talk to Garrus, and, uh, and I think we'll call it a stream. Awa. can also talk to Kasumi on the way by because it's right here. People are talking out there. And I hear it all. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. People think he's a bad cook on purpose, like he's trying to teach them a lesson. I think his ramen is okay. But it's really hard to ruin ramen. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Okay, good talk. Good talk. Commander, 
What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operation. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... Abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Dare Bear. Dare Bear. So I see Garrus. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against the collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? 
It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the Mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the Mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Shepard. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later. I'll be here if you need me. Wow. Garrus. He's so cool. Wow. Okay, let's see here. Who is streaming? Okay. Whoops. Um, yeah, I am going to call it here. So thank you all for coming to the Variety Channel. We'll be back next week with more Mass Effect 2. Tomorrow we've got Mario 64 that we're going to play through, and I'm going to try and get all the... not try, I'm going to go for all of the stars this time and see how quickly I can get as many as possible before I burn out. And that's what we're doing tomorrow. So without further ado, we're going to find someone to raid... And, uh... I haven't done this before, but I'll raid Skitsy. He's a burb. He runs my memes on my channel. And he's playing Bioshock 2 Remastered. So, uh... Give him a hey, give him a lurk, give him whatever you need, you want. Um... Yeah. Fox Raid. Type Fox Raid as the message when we go over there. Yeah, thank you all for coming. Thank you, thank you. Wah, wah. Blap, thank you. Wah.